Several architects were invited to consider what the space might become. O'Donnell and Toomey were selected by O'Donoghue, the director of Connemara West, because they were very clear at articulating the historical sense of the site and the development of what should be there now. I begin by thinking like archaeologists might do, met metaphorically prodding the ground, searching for traces of what made it the way it is, and shifting to unearth clues to inspire its further transformation. Our ambition is to build something completely new that feels like it was always already there before we started, as if we had discovered the scheme rather than designed it. The workshops are pulled forward of the school and bent, like wind-sculptured Connemara trees. They lean away from the wind and towards the complex, says Toomey. They lean north to let the light in. The structural timber frames make the furniture workshops feel like places where joinery details should matter. Thank you. 
What do you like in the building? I like the very overt manner in which the architects employed the timber structure, how the timber structure informs the architectural form, and how it connects with the ground via the concrete to rock. What I see here in this project is an unexpected answer in contemporary architecture to this program and on the site. What is your impression of the development? It has the impression of a pastoral campus. It looks a bit like a campus of the early utopian socialists of the 18th century. This is a school, but at the same time it definitely gives the impression of being some kind of industry. It is a small factory or workshop building as well as a school, and that kind of, kind of conveyed ambiguity interests me. What role has the structure in the nature of the space? I like the way that they use the structural elements. They are integrated into the design and generate the forms, and yet it moves beyond the structure. I like the way that the roof lights make something unexpected of these workshop spaces. How does the building refer to the history of the site? It is very literally referring to a kind of industrial ground, an industrial site. That is also a question in the future. We have to deal with the industrial sites, with the lost spaces, also in the actual architectonic production we have to recognise, maybe in a metaphoric sense, this vocabulary which will never come back again. It actually makes us wonder how these buildings were placed as the arena of the topography. Our concern is that the buildings are placed according to some composition rules. Is there a wish to create a whole by adding these new buildings or is it simply a result of change of approach in theories?